Welcome to the Cosmic Video Tutorials. This video will be about downloading the Cosmic data files. All the data from Cosmic is available to download and this can be done in several ways depending on the size of the file you want. From the main pages on the website, such as the sample page, you can download selected data relevant to what you're looking at on the website. You can download these in CSV or TSV format. If you want complete data sets, then you need to go to the downloads page. This allows you to see which file will be most relevant and provides instructions on how to download. In order to see information on all the files that are available, it's best to log in first. Now you can click on each of the file names to see details. If you're interested in a specific gene, sample or cancer type, then you can download a subset of the complete data filtered by a variable as a CSV file directly from this page. Alternatively, you may require all the data for your analysis in which case you will want to access our SFTP server. The data stored on the SFTP server can be accessed in one of two ways, either using a GUI client or directly by a command line. Here we will talk through using the command line. This varies slightly depending on if you're using a Mac, Windows or Linux machine. Here we will be using a Windows computer. In order to do this, you need to open a PSFTP window and type open followed by your email address in quotation marks then at and the host name, which is sftp-cancer.sanger.ac.uk. It will then request your password. If you encounter an incorrect password error, check that there are no special characters in your password. If there are, you may need to reset it to something else using the Cosmic website. Once you're logged in, you're presented with the same directory structure as before. First, we're going to change the download directory using the lcd command. We will set it to our user's download directory. You can check what this is set to using the lpwd command. ls will list the files in the current directory and you navigate by using cd or change directory followed by the directory name. To go back or up a directory, use cd space dot dot. If you need help finding which file you want, there are descriptions on the download page that we saw before, as well as the full path to the file. We will navigate to Cosmic GRCH38 and the latest release, which currently is V83. When you get to a file that you want, simply type get followed by the file name and the file will be downloaded to your computer in the directory that we set before. This can also be executed by typing get followed by the full path to the file. For example, get slash cosmic slash grch38 slash cosmic slash v83 slash readme hyphen cosmic dot txt. This path can be found on the downloads page. Thank you for watching this cosmic video tutorial. We hope that it was helpful. If you have any further questions, please contact our help desk.